Tamara, you are at the funeral of an iconic cultural figure, Hall of Fame catcher, and all around great guy, Yogi Berra. What do you got? Yogi Berra personified the American dream, is what loved ones said about the iconic Hall of Famer and legendary Yankee Yogi Berra at his funeral in Montclair. Berra died at the age of 90 last week, and he was laid to rest after a beautiful funeral service led by Cardinal Timothy Dolan. I came down here to stand with the fans that came to see the service. Are there players like Yogi Berra anymore? No. There'll never be another Yankee team like the players that Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, Joe DiMaggio. When Jeter played, they were good, but they weren't inspirational like those players. Just before the service began, a police motorcade brought the family. Friends and teammates, both past and present, they trickled in through the front and the side door. I was able to see Reggie Jackson, Joe Piscopo, and former mayor Rudy Giuliani, who went up to the van where the family was. He poked his head in, and I could hear him say, that he thought Yogi Berra was a great man and that he was a fan. Now, Berra was a 10-time World Series champion. He played in the All-Star Game 15 times, but he was also a Navy veteran who was on the beaches when the invasion happened on D-Day. You could see here he actually had a Navy salute. Yogi Berra will be remembered in the hearts of Americans all across the country, but I'm gonna leave you with one final Yogiism. He would always say, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Everything that the guy did, he did really well. I mean, one radio personality yeah. said, you can live a life maybe as, as well as Yogi Berra, but you can't beat it. Upon his passing, and God rest his soul, he enters the realm of the Paul Bunyans at, at this point. He's a folklore at this point. Quoting Yogi Berra, Yogiisms, they transcend baseball. You know, it ain't over till it's over. You can apply that to any saying in life. And you know, Tamara, it's good you went to his funeral because as he said, if you don't go to other people's funerals, they won't go to yours. He seemed to have everybody there as well as fans lined up down the block, all just paying tribute to such a great man. I mean, it's more of a celebration of his life than a mourning of his death. And man, do you rate to have a cardinal?